My parents, my parents across the border, they came from Chihuahua, Chihuahua, Mexico! And they came, they went from Chihuahua to San Jose in a canoe <laughs> with all the clothes on their backs made from tamale huts. <laughs> and they built with their own hands, they built a two-story hut out of toothpicks and churros. <laughs> and we had a beautiful front yard and a backyard and way way in the back, we had our beloved cuartito, which is a requirement for all many kind of families, so a cuartito. For those of you who are unfamiliar with a cuartito, it is a tool shed and guest house. <laughs> right? For those relatives on a budget or simply hiding from the law. They know, they know it. Simon, I they know to live in a cuartito. Are there any white people who have a cuartito? Because it's possible. This is the Southwest. We are in the borderlands. You can't help but have a hot dog and a tortilla. You can't help that. Because that's what we have going on. You take a weenie, put it in the tortilla, roll it up, fry it, next to the hot dog. Inspired by Tia Cuca. <laughs> we all have Tia Cuca, right? <laughs> Even the white people. <laughs> Tia Cuca also inspired the trans border menu at McDonald's. Yeah, so I have a Big Mac with papitas and tacos de lengua. Super size de lengua. Simon, I will super size your lengua. <laughs> <laughs>